Hey everyone, this is Yayos AK33 and I did promise I would make some sort of video reflecting on my thoughts of Mass Effect 3 as a whole. And well, I just uploaded the final video in my... well, I still have one more video to upload, but that one come, will come a bit later, but this is the final ended video. I'm, I'm sitting here watching it, so I'm going to use, st I guess, stock footage and throw this dialogue upon it, because well, I'm going to mention the ending a bit in the game. Uh, in this sort of recap of what I think of the game as a whole. Because, in all honesty, if we ignore the ending, because, well, it's not a good ending. I, I think we can all agree on that. But up until the ending, I think there's this point right about before the catalyst that is about to fire up until you actually enter the crucible I guess the whole part up until before the catalyst up up up, up until that point I'm okay with uh, how the end, end, ending is about to play out I mean the story is not perfect that's something there's inconsistencies and things that all over the place they could have done this so much different or better they miss things My, I guess minor details for example you uh, what, am I, what am I trying to say if you read through every planet description it's it's like they threw so many little things that could have had an impact later on for example already in Mass Effect 1 you have this mention of a planet with is it Krendragon or...? Yeah, but it, it has this big Mass Effect as accelerated weapon and if you get to... They don't discover, uh, explore everything fully. They skip details and everything. I mean, they did change the lead writer going into the third game and... I guess the first lead writer, Drew Caprician, is that how you pronounce it? He had this ending planned out, but he went, he went away to work on... Uh, the old Republic and I guess he messed up stuff there as well. So yeah, the writing is a mess overall for Bioware currently, I guess. Especially with what, what they did with Forever Never Exile in stories for all old Republic. But yeah, it seems like the ending is so... If you... In uh, this documentary thing called the What's it called? The final hours of Mass Effect 3. You get to see the sketch of Mac Walters idea of ending and it, it just ends in speculations from everyone and that I don't think that's a good thing. I want some closure. If you plan to wrap up the whole trilogy and completely finish Shepard's story of the thing, then I want some closure on it. I I don't want to speculate. Constantly on until they decide to make another game of the series. Because, yeah, no closure is what you get. And you get inconsistent plot holes in the endings themselves. The endings themselves, they are. They're no real different. They, your choices don't have an impact in the, in the end. I mean, your choices have an impact up until you go to Earth. And depending on which part maybe is kept alive and some choices like that, with the dialogue you can have with people out south, uh, away, away from Earth. But yeah, up until that point, I think the game is doing pretty well. I mean, the final mission, up until you go through the... up until after the Elusive Man, I mean, what's wrong... the bad part with the ending is the catalyst, I think we can all, all agree on that. Because you basically get the main villain of everything I guess. He gets introduced 10 minutes before the end of the game and he... The first thing he does is explain his motives, which is a, is, it's a very bad motive to begin with. It's a circle argument. I created synthetics to kill organics because they kill synthetics that will kill organics. And that's why we have to kill organics every 50k years to make sure that synthetics don't kill organics. Because that's basically what the argument is. So yeah, if we disregard the catalyst, if we disregard the ending for now, the gameplay of the game, I, 
of a love it. It even works so well in, in multiplayer that it's really enjoyable. And it's... Every combat, I guess that's the best part of the game, to be honest. It's so much fun, more fun than Mass Effect 2. The improved mo mobility, I really like that. I like how the powers feel more fun to use overall. I mean, biotic explosions, tech explosions, everything's fun to play with. Tech burst, sorry. And the best synergy with the team, and uh, I can't wait to get there and get around to playing the uh, single player campaign on a harder level. Always do it on normal first, because I guess that's how they intend me to start, uh, to have my initial experience with the game, and at least my only experience with the game. But I'm probably gonna tackle it on at, at least hardcore. Perhaps Insanity. Insanity wasn't much fun in Mass Effect 2. But I've I've heard that it might be better than Mass Effect 3. But yeah, in the gameplay department, I can't say that I'm anything less than very satisfied with the game. The pacing, the story, up until Chronos Station is overall good, I guess. I mean, you get to see a lot of different scenarios. You get it's very enjoyable. The Right up until the end is, I think, very enjoyable overall. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of side quests. It feels like a pretty expensive game here. And I mean, the inventory is... now it's not back, but the weapon customization is back. Yeah, that's the good part. That part is really enjoyable. Balancing out, even though if, if the choices are pretty limited overall. But yeah. I don't want the inventory system back with the omni gels and stuff like that. It was a clusterfuck in Mass Effect 1 and I don't think they could make it justice overall. Maybe if they tried even harder. But what do you expect? The game has to come out at some point at least. And that's another thing I feel. Overall with the game it feels like they put in just enough. They didn't put in a lot of extra efforts or anything, there, but they put in just enough for the game to be good. But they really should add... I mean, this is the final part of a, a trilogy we've been playing for five years. They could easily have well, gone out of a big, huge bang. They could have crammed it so full. I mean, they could have released it Christmas this year with more content than just make it so expensive even, and perhaps expand it even further than the... I think my playthrough took 15 hours, 15 to 20, 20 hours for my first playthrough, and I did quite a few side quests. But yeah, I want more. That's the thing, and I guess we all do. I mean, we can expect that from the final part of the trilogy that's supposed to conclude this part of the story. And yeah, in a degree, I'm I'm excited to see what's gonna happen later on in the with a franchise. And I'm definitely in interested in seeing what's going to happen with the ending DLC that they've confirmed, pretty much. April, I guess they said they're going to bring news on it. I don't think they're going to change the whole ending. That might be a bit far-fetched. But it's also inter interesting to see what they're going to do with ending, because it's obviously going to be new content, I guess. And they're going to have to bring back voice actors for that, and they can't go lo low budget on it. I mean, there's DLC already in the game, I think. One that's pretty much confirmed is the Omega DLC with Arya. Yeah, because she even mentions it in the, in the conversation you have with her. And that one was in the game files. It, it was in the leak, when the game leaked last autumn or so. The, the details of that DLC was there or already back then. So was Javik, but he had a completely different role. Uh, wait, did he? He was supposed to be the prof in VI, but they fleshed him out to a character instead. And you found him directly on Mars, but instead they made him a squad member. And you had to pay 800 points, which is 10 bucks for him. Which is sad. I hope 
they can deliver deliver with a DLC yeah, at least and don't make it so goddamn expensive I mean with Mass Effect 2 we had a good run and actually got plenty of free DLC I mean it might just have been new items but we got Said just for buying the game legally and that's a good incentive I mean there should be a reason why I want if you play on a console and you you should have a reason to buy the game new because then that's not really an issue with PC you can just buy it when, it, when the price is cut or if you're that kind of person you can pirate it but yeah I have expectations for if they're gonna deliver with the game further down the road but I would definitely grade this game very high I'm very most satisfied with everything up until the catalyst enters the story. And yeah, multiplayer is good fun. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun in the future with, with the game. I'm hopefully gonna have uh, a good time covering parts of the game as well. I haven't got a. Uh, I'm not sure if the Sega game editor is up to par yet for exchanging party members. I mean, the GUI seems a bit. Unfinished, unpolished, I guess. But yeah, if they can deliver an, a DLC that will give some closure, or perhaps an epilogue, I mean, why is my part, uh, why is Liara on the ship on the Normandy? She was with me uh, when we headed for the Crucible. Uh, the. What the hell is it called again? The cipher on Earth, yeah. When we were attacked by Harbinger. Why is she on the Normandy? Why is Yoki r running away from the battle? Why. Uh, well, we s even got to see it for us ourselves in Arrival. Why shouldn't the mass relays blowing up really exterminate about every solar system we have out there? Is this some kind of special uh, explosion that we don't kn know about? I mean. If they had given us an explanation of this, I would probably have been more okay with it. But nobody's okay with them just leaving us with, as Mac Waters would say, lots of speculation. Nobody's gonna be happy with that in the end. Closure, that's the key word here. And there's none of it in, in the ending. But overall, if I would have to rate Mass Effect 3 on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm, an, I'm not going to give it anything less than a 9. I wish it was more, but I'm very happy with what it actually is at this point. And it is a very good game, in my opinion. And, well, I guess this is going to conclude what I have to say here. And I hope you have enjoyed watching my videos so far. I haven't recorded any new content yet. I have just mainly wanted to catch up for I was uh, I basically well, I was behind 30 videos or so so I'd have a, I had decided to not record anything new until I was completely finished with my coverage in my first playthrough so you can start to look forward on a I might just make more a few more videos detailing the regular coverage but I ha this time around I have a save file that will ensure that it's a bit different than what I have initially covered. For example, it's a save file with about every squad member dead at some point. And I I too want to see the alternative characters that will appear. So yeah, that's what you can look forward for uh, from me in the close future. I hope you enjoy watching my videos and I hope enjoy re reading your comments. So yeah, this is JOXK33 again, signing out, and I'll see you next time.